This is a quick demo video to show you how to use the Color 3001 Scan Pro Pan and Tilt Crawler Unit. Firstly, I'll show you how to set the camera up on the actual unit itself. There's a number of ways of doing it, but we'll start with the actual crawler front. If you remove the brass blanking plate, you'll notice a number of pins. You can see them here on the actual camera itself. Um, there's a keyway which lines up. You need the larger pin, which is located at 12 o'clock on the front of the, cam the tractor itself. And once you push the camera on, you'll feel it push in. Make sure you locate this correctly before trying to screw up the main bulk, otherwise you could damage the pins. When you are screwing up the back end, back end of the actual connector itself, all you require to turn is the actual lock nut. The camera shouldn't rotate at all until finally it becomes tight. Just hand tight is fine, you don't need to do much more than that. And that's the camera on the front. At the moment, the tractor is set up for six inch pipes. With the medium wheels attached and the camera on the front, this is set up for nine inch pipes. Now to go to a larger pipe size, you, you have to start adding the attachments. This attachment just screws to the top of the, camp, the tractor unit itself. Um, just a couple of the shorter M5 socket cap bolts are what are required for this. You fasten them to the top, then you have to add this attachment. We call this a torch because of obvious reasons. Again, you can see the connector has got a larger pin. Um, it's probably ideal if you leave that at 12 o'clock, the pin itself, so that every time you put the camera on, you know roughly whereabouts to line the camera up itself. Once that's screwed up nice and tight, then you can proceed to put the camera on that torch itself. You also require to use the what we call the interconnection lead, which is a small length of cable. This just pushes tightly into the back of the torch itself. And then there's a small connector on the back of the crawler, on the top of the back, in which you push this cable into that. It might be an idea to fasten this down with some tie wraps or some sort of um, tape, just to stop it getting caught it's, as it goes up the pipe. Again, unscrew the camera itself, not turning the camera, just the locking ring. Pull the camera off. Fasten it onto the top bracket torch, screw that up, put the blanking plate at the bottom to stop any muck from getting in there. Once everything's tight, this setup I would use for 12 inch. If you require a larger pipe still, again, you're going to have to add more attachments. Um, simply removed, I've simply unbolted this bracket, which was holding the camera itself on top of the crawler. Now you're going to have to use this piece of equipment. We call this a gantry. Again, simply use the screws provided in the accessory case we give you. Line them up on top of the crawler body. Screw these into place. You'll notice in your accessory case there are two size bars. Um, basically the larger the bar, the higher up the camera will go. Obviously this refers to the size of the pipe you're using. You simply use the screws provided. Screw the camera and the torch to the top of the gantry. This will do between three and four 50 mil pipes. This is a tractor system set up with pneumatic tyres. The spacers that I've left on the side, you screw these between the medium wheel and the pneumatic 
forcing the tyre wider. This is for one metre pipes. Again, you can use the larger bars on the side here to help centralise the camera in a one metre pipe. We also provide you with some large wheels. It's down to customer preference on how you use these. Some people bolt the actual wheel in, in replacement to the pneumatic and fix the camera on the front for 12 inch. But again, it's down to you. Right, now I'll show you how to set up the cable into the back of the tractor. Again, there's a large pin which needs to be aligned. On the back of this unit, it aligns about one o'clock. As you push it in, you'll feel it pushing slightly further. All you need to do is screw up the back nut, hand tight. And then connect this drain relief using this D-shackle. This just slides over the top of the bracket on the back. Tighten that. You'll notice it will leave a slight bend in the cable. This is to prevent you from pulling any tension out on the back of this cable here. So when you're reversing the crawler unit, make sure you put some tension on this cable so that it doesn't come loose and slip underneath the pneumatic tyres because this will cause it to snap. Now you need to connect the box up to the reel itself. You'll notice on the large black cable there's a male and a female end. Obviously make sure you align these up. Again, the larger pin is on this unit as well, and this goes at 12 o'clock. Simply line that up, and then half a turn, and that's on. And on the cable reel itself, again, line that up. Half a turn, and that's on. Get the mains lead. Put it in the back and you're ready to go. Once the cables are connected, you simply twist the stop knob on the back left of the unit and let the unit fire up. Give it a second, it will come up with compact DVR until the DVR is powered up. Once this is powered up, it gives you four options. To get the picture, on the keyboard function, you'll notice you've got a left, a right, up, down, and a select. When you're using the DVR, obviously the left and right helps you pan through the functions on the screen. Press select the central button, and this will give you your picture. Obviously with the USB connected, you just press the record button, and the unit will start recording. Then it's simply pause and stop, the same as you would on a normal video. If you want to pan and tilt the camera, there's a toggle switch right here on this unit. If you push this, you'll notice a green LED will come alight. Now the functions on the keypad itself will change to the camera. So when you press left and right, the camera head itself will be turning left, right and panning round. On the other side, you have another round keypad. The yellow buttons up and down are for the lights. The forward and backwards are for the crawler and that's the stop button for the crawler. To get speed going, you press the up button, stop, reverse and so on and so forth. 